it like it's GTA. Call me if it's on the floor, I'll be on my way. I'm finna leave now, let you know my ETA. I'm a hustler, I can lose it all and know I'll be okay. I'm always on a mission, living like it's living like it's GTA. Yeah, yeah, we back at it. Free Play Radio, it's your boy Skino. That was Brill for the Thrill with ETA. Make sure y'all go and, you know, stream my guy. He got projects, he got super crazy catalog, man. Shout out Danny Ali for the merch. The run management, they slid through last week. You know, I had to throw it on one time. But we got a special guest in the building, man. Uh, yes, sir. We just met today. Yeah. We'll keep it 100, just met today, but... I've heard a lot of great things about you, bro, Appreciate and uh, I'm glad to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. Jalen Fly Guy. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? How we doing smooth? We getting straight to it. I'm glad to be here with you all in radio, man. Shout out to y'all. This is a uh, uh, perfect timing. Perfect for sure. Timing for real. For sure. Yeah. So for the people that may be unfamiliar, uh, where you from? And um, you know, you're an artist. So what brought you to music? Um, man, I'm from San Francisco, California. Talk about 100 it. Hundred points to be exact. Um, what brought me to music, man, I just grew up around music, to uh, to be for real. A lot of people in my family, uh, you feel me, is doing big things in music. So it's, i just been around it as a youngin'. Yeah. And I, I just, you know, picked it up and just kept running with it. Got you. Yeah. What would you say uh, you grew up listening to, though? Like, what was played in the house mostly? In the house, um, it was a bunch of oldies, like, for real, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Um, I was, I was with my granddad a lot. Got you. My grandmother a lot and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, I was listening to a lot of oldies, a lot of classics, a lot of, um, I, I, I guess you can say a lot of blues, jazz. Okay. It was, it was stuff like that going around in the house. I Got you. Front. Okay, I okay. Front. So what would you say uh, your experience was like, you know, growing up in, in San Francisco, bro? Uh, man, growing up in San Francisco was a little bit different for me because I actually moved when I was like, I don't know, probably like nine or something. Mm -hmm. I moved out the way. I got you, was, uh, got you. Out the way for a minute, but you know, my grandmother and everybody still lived out in the city, so I was out there like yeah, every weekend and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And um, for from that experience, man, I've been through everything. Yeah. Niggas used to do like bad shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, stealing cars and fucking doing doing from a, a different club. <laughs> These young kids nowadays ain't know nothing about nah, stealing they, cars, man. They, they might be stealing a Kia. Nah, nah, the old school Honda, little yeah. butter knife, throw that thing up in there. We riding around up in a uh, in the dog patch area, right, 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 the Laguna area. Yeah, people know what I'm talking about when I say shit like that. But um, man, yeah, think I of mean, the past though, obviously. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That that was that was when I was real young, cause like I said, like all my family, like growing up. I, I grew up with my uncles and you feel me cousins and stuff. They a little bit older than me, so I I just had to get in where I fit in. You know? Nah, off top, off I top. Young, I was a youngin on a bike trying to keep up. Right. Yeah. So what brought you to like you know becoming an artist? Like, when did you decide to take it serious? Uh, shit, man. Honestly, I took it serious when I dropped like my first tape. I would say like 2018. I dropped that with the Free Minded. Okay, was, so uh, with, with uh Larry June, that's Larry yeah, June, right? That's Larry June, uh, record label right there. Okay, I'm that's why. I'm with the Free Minded, and uh, that was the first project that I that I dropped. I went out. I, honestly, I would drop. I dropped something else on Distro Kid one time, mm -hmm. and then I just had a conversation with June. He was like, "Man, let, let's just do it this way." Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I did it. And that cover from that album, actually, like a cover of me in Harbor Road when Got I was you. a kid. So. It just it just uh it played out perfect timing, and uh, I named that thing from the dirt. So that was that was my first first project when I was like, man, I'm gonna take this shit serious because I right I've been around the game. I seen you know uh, June Larry June come up from like you know where he was in the beginning to where he at now, and it always was a motivation aspect of that part. But um, like just seeing like the trajectory, like yeah, seeing man. Him or even like he was in Atlanta and then yeah, all seeing all that. Yeah, man. being in the first video and shit like that type shit. Right, no, nah, that's fire. Mm -hmm. what, what's one thing that you you actually learned from him, like a gem that you really learned from that that stuck with you? Uh, keep going. Just keep going, right? Because <laughs> hey, at the end of the loaded, day, man. yeah. Because at the end of the day, the only way it's not gonna happen is if you give up. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Because if you stop, you feel me? You just slowing down your momentum. Why? Why do that? Right. Uh, you just keep the ball rolling, and, and you know you never know what can happen type shit yeah no that's shit. a fact bro mm -hmm. a record i want to get into off of amazing art volume yeah. one that's your latest project right yeah yeah my latest project right now is amazing art all this was mixed and mastered by deo 
Uh, shout out DEO, so man. Shout out DEO. And uh, this this one of them things that got me back back uh, rolling. So okay. Like I said, we got to keep it going. Can you tell me a little bit about the concept? Because uh, you, you brought the... You brought the CD, the physical, man. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of cats ain't doing physicals yeah. out here, man. So, salute man, to you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I just, I like the nostalgia. It, and people, a lot of people say, man, I don't even got like a CD player so and what? shit like that. But I say, so what? Yeah. And I say, I put the barcode right there too. Come on, now. so you can scan it. And you feel me? It's like memorabilia. You never exactly. know. You feel me? You put this up in a house somewhere. People are gonna pick it up and always have it. I like tangible stuff. Yeah. Like, um, so the, so the concept about it was, I was, I was playing with art, like the, the the name like amazing amazing i go by mr amazing jalen fly guy jfg for short so um i felt like you know my music is art it's not for everybody you feel me i feel like art is very selective mm -hmm. i feel like music is very selective too it's like you're gonna pick what you want out of this tape this album and uh i feel like that's what any any tape any album that you listen to you're like all right this is my favorite song and yeah and that's a part of art that's that's your type of style that you like that's the type of art you like and um that would kind of made it. I had uh, Frico from Atlanta. He did the cover art for it. Um, I gave him a concept of a picture that I took a while back, and I was like, "Man, let's 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 make something that's uh, that can be memorable." Okay. And uh, he did it, and this is where we at now, man. We got amazing art on all digital streaming platforms. It's not this the first one. It's Volume One, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be more after this. So I'm um. I got I got a lot I got a lot more coming, man. For sure. What yeah. was the recording process like for uh, Stay Active though? Cause you got a feature on there. Is that yeah. Charlay or Charlay? Yeah, uh, it's Charlay. Charlay. Um, uh, the 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 process of that song in particular. That song was uh, I think I don't know if I waited like a year to, to finish that song. No, actually, no. I did that over summer. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this whole tape took me about six months to do. Okay. Um. I had some stuff that I had sitting, and I was like, okay, let me do it. But I, I went through some uh, through some personal shit Got for you. a minute, and I had to get back in it. And that was actually, like, the, the second song I did on the tape. And I I did my vocals on it, but I really wasn't digging with it because I ain't a singer or nothing like that. I can I can try and shit like that, but I need to take some more courses or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hit Shirley up, and she was like, um... She was like, I'll, I'll hop on the vocals for you. I do the background. So she did the backgrounds and it it, it just bust. Oh like, man, this thing going good. And that was one of my things. You got to stay active to attract it. Yeah. If you ain't out here moving, grooving, and you feel me, in the right circles, you just gonna be uh trying to find, f trying to figure it out. You gotta you gotta figure out with other people around you. You can't just be just by yourself. So. Yeah. You gotta stay active to attract it. For sure. And uh, that that was the process of that. I recorded the vocals, my my verse, and then uh, she came in the studio, uh, like when I was mixing the whole tape, mm -hmm. and laid down her uh, backgrounds. And I like do ad lib over my verse right here. Do do this, do that. And it was like it was it was in sync. That was my first time doing something like that too. Yeah. Because usually I just send shit over, but to work with people that's in the bay or people that's willing to fly in and feel me get shit done yeah. face to face that's a lot better i feel like it come out it come out more uh organic talk about it yeah come on now. i see the plug yeah. right there <laughs> for real but we about to get into it uh stay active featuring charlay from Jalen the Fly, Jalen Fly Guy. Jalen Fly. Everybody try to say Jalen the Fly Guy. Even even DEO was like, hey, bro, you gotta say Jalen the Fly. I'm like, nah, just Jalen Fly. Jalen Fly Guy. We can get we can get into that in a minute. Too, right, right, right. Got the name and shit. Where can people follow you on uh, social media, bro? Uh, you can follow me on every everything. It's Jalen Fly Guy. J A L E N F L Y G U Y. Uh, shit. If you can't find me like that, type in Mr. Amazing, Mr. Amazing. And that's how you can find me. It's a very simple. You're going to see the cover art, the amazing art. I've changed all my stuff to uh, that cover. So, yeah. Jalen Fly Guy, Mr. Amazing. JFG for short. For sure. We got Jalen Fly Guy. Stay active. Yeah. Featuring Charlotte. It's Free Play Radio. It's your boy, Skino. Tavares Jordan. Good decision. Uh, I. Mo wet, mix with OJ, we ride by the coast with it. All I need is a go, I've been a bad bitch to go with it. The sun kissing, every day has been a mission. I'm glad I did it while dodging foes and bad decision. I'm Mr. Mason, and no, now you say you get it. I'm a fly guy, did I mention in this water expenses? By all means, we gon' live a good life. If you bring your friend, baby, tell her, don't put me up on her life. Yeah, I'm from the bay, I know how this shit can go. With the right plan, we can make a whole lot more. She gon' bounce that ass and let me hit for show. Hustle mentality, I'm always on go. 
why here is money to be made on the road. Living a good life, what I'm trying to do. I ain't selling the dream, nor lying to you. Like I'm trying to show the way there's no cap, all facts. What you trying to do? You gotta stay active, too attractive. You gotta stay active, too attractive. You gotta stay, you gotta stay active, too attractive. You gotta stay, you gotta stay active, too attractive. You gotta stay, you gotta stay active. So you know we gon' get I put it. my money in my mouth, bitch. That's how I stay winning. Just them black designers. Got the fine bitch. I ain't, I'm just a young millionaire flying out to the Virgin Islands. To level up, I just scored. I'm hitting the beach with a bitch with no flaws. Ain't no competition. I'm in my own lane, on my own mission. Thank God every day for this life I'm living. I don't know what you thought, man. I ain't stopping. I stay active and make room for options. Caught a glass, you're blocking the glare from the ocean. If I want it, I'ma get it. I ain't waiting, cause I got most. Wash your life up. But don't never give up When time get hard Push through it young bruh It's gonna work out Especially if you do it with love It's not called a hobby It's called doing what you love You gotta love. stay active Too attractive You gotta stay active Too attractive You gotta stay You gotta stay active Too attractive You gotta stay You gotta stay Stop that, bitch. What's cracking? The bitches ain't gonna argue because I ain't your baby daddy. I just hit the 925 for real. I'm saying I'm in your area. Check from your faucet for the news. What's up? You scared of what? 707 510 415. Destination 408, so I let you know when I arrive. It's a little out the way, but I feel hit the 909. 99 summertime, it's scorching hot, size of 209. Duck behind the AC, I got workers, she on A Street. Stop by Wild Night Lounge and catch a vibe, cause I don't even drink. Slide out to the city, we at Ocean. Maybe back or beach, don't look me in my eye too long. Just might bring out the freaking me. I can tell that she a freak, I can tell she into me. I won't tell your secrets, do whatever you was really thinking. I know that she seen some things, and I know that she been through more. Car- Been a lot of that trauma tighten up. There's money on the flow. GPS and off we go to LA on the five for show. Great mind always therapeutic as long as I got splits roll. If you ain't for 10 toes, you ain't my kind of bitch though. Go be with your kin folks, you ain't made for the shit I'm on. Now my sis got thick hoes. 619 bitches gorgeous. I ain't got some girls to blow your mind for real. Don't sleep on them. Hit Vegas. Let me see if I can pee some shit. My campaign never stop because I know the bills gonna keep coming. What's the deal with your pounders? Cause all of mine's got bottles. We tryna kick our feet up. Conversation, play dominoes. Oh, we can hit plank. Some Ramon Skate. Pull out the speaker, maybe do a picnic on the lake. Y'all just don't flake, hit them all and we faded. Feeling good, spinning paper, he feels touched on my taper. 1996 player, when they still had pages, when no, it was a thing to drink, a thick bitch was a little rare. Summertime, I'm trying to knock, when the time I'm trying to knock, I don't spring and fall, I'ma get it out of John Cox. So stop that, bitch, what's cracking? The betters ain't gonna argue because I ain't your baby daddy. I just hit the 925 around, saying I'm in your area. Check from your folks, I saw the news, what's up, you scared of what? So stop that, bitch. What's cracking? The betters ain't gonna argue because I ain't your baby daddy. I just hit the 925 for I'm saying I'm in your area. Check what's from your folks and sell the news. What's up, you scared of what? 707-510-415. That's the next 48. So I'll let you know when I arrive. Uh. Yeah, yeah. We back at it. Yeah. Free Play Radio. That was Lil Bear Rubber Band with In Your Area. But we got Jalen Fly Guy in the building. Amazing. Come on now. But you know what I'm saying? Where does the name Jalen Fly Guy come from? But I'm, I'm going to say, you did come with that. You put that shit on yeah, today, bro. I, I ain't appreciate gonna lie. that. I ain't going to lie. I appreciate that. But what, what, uh, like, what made you name yourself that, though? Uh, it was it was given to me, honestly, like, back in middle school, like, yeah. dressing fly. And they would come up to me playing, like, oh, you're Fly Guy. Look yeah, at the yeah, Fly yeah. Guy. And I'm like, I, I like the Fly Guy. Then I like, let me just say Jalen Fly Guy. Yeah. And um, I, I added JFG when I was in Miami and I was like popping some game and I'm like, you feel me? Like, hey, so Jalen Fly guy, a female was like, yeah, that's that's too much. Like, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Drinking shit. So like, just call me JFG. Yeah. And um, so Jalen Fly guy, and I and I added the Mr. Amazing back, you know, how, how you gotta put like a hitter name on like Twitter right, right. and stuff like got that. Got you, got you. So I put in the Mr. Amazing. 
and then I followed that with that on um, Instagram too. So it kind of all just came meshed together. Uh, I feel like I'm amazing. I'm an individual that's that's real different. I got a whole different style. I actually looked at my shoes. I like the red on the side of my you feel me jacket match the side of the shoes. I didn't even try to do that. That was just, it just like, happened. It just happened. When you fly, shit just happened like <laughs> that, bro. Man, I was Without looking at the bear. I looked at the bear. I was like, oh shit, I really did that. Yeah, that's crazy. Talk about it. But yeah, man, that's how I got the name. It was just back in middle school, man. People were playing. Yeah. And it just said it, and it stuck. Yeah. One but, thing I do say about nicknames is like. When you when you given a nickname like my name like my nickname Skino like I didn't yeah. just call my start calling myself that you feel yeah. me so it's just like it hit different when somebody like yeah give you the name like the name. nah this this you you feel me so yeah. that that's dope yeah but yeah what what you working on though right now bro I know you got the project I feel like you know these days artists are expected to just continuously pump out pump out records are you yeah. one of those artists uh i feel like at times i can be at times i won't be like this is my first album after like two years mm -hmm. i dropped in uh 2021 and then i dropped this one this year and uh it took me like like i said it took me about six months to get get done but right now um i'm i'm promoting this this album and this project that I got with Drew Banger. Okay. Me and Drew Banger got a project about to be a uh, come on. I think I'm gonna drop. I was gonna drop it in December, but I'm gonna do it at that at the top of next year. Okay. I'm uh, kind of going like a little hibernation for a minute because I feel like I did a lot um, with this album because I dropped the merch, I did the CDs, I even um, had a collaboration with Purity Winery. Okay. They That's from out in, Ren out in Richmond, and they. Um, they hooked up, I guess, me with like my own exclusive wine. That's I fire, bro. Did. I had a bottle, but I was like in a rush, so I just. Nah, that's fire, I, bro. Know, I'm, I'm gonna come. Nah, you good, good, bro. You, that's that's fire, bro. That. Like at the end yeah. of the day, bro. Regardless. Like, yeah. That's, that's I'm a wine. I For fuck real? with wine, bro. I got you. I, got I you. fuck Say with less. wine, bro. Say less. And um, and actually, it sold out before I even like had my had my party for it, cause I was gonna do like a whole art theme. I, I, I'm still gonna do it. But it's just the time how fast stuff started going. I was like, man, let me let me um let me hold off on that because yeah. at the end of the day, people were just calling me like, hey, bro, I know you got a case. Let me let me come get two, three bottles. Let me get four bottles. And then all you feel me, you pull up on the family, and they gonna buy out yeah. stuff like that. So everybody, just know I got I got some some special on the way coming next gotcha. year. Uh, first off, we're gonna drop the tape with Drew Banger. I got the single single Riri. Yep, I got that. That okay, yeah, we're gonna yeah. give him we give him a taste of that. And um I am just kind of, I'm just steady coming with him. Right yeah. left right now. It's it's perfect timing. I'm gonna keep saying that because I'm not I'm not I'm not how to say pressuring this shit. I'm not pushing it too too uh far as far as like reaching to try to make this shit work. It's just working. Yeah. Like um organically. Yeah. Even even like this G Val hooked me up with uh Tori. Okay, with Troy. With Troy, my bad. Yeah, no, you straight. With Troy, um, and we was we was just typing up like, hey, that, that free play, right? I'm, I'm trying to get up on it. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, that's Troy. That's that's his. That's yeah. Shit. I'm like, all right, all right, and they introduced us and we made it organically. Like yeah. everything just coming together. I ain't pressuring nothing. Um, what's meant for me is always gonna be meant for me, and oh, everybody should know what's yeah. meant for you is meant for you. Right. Can't nobody stop you. From getting your bag, can't nobody stop you from trying to, trying to um, pursue your uh, end goal. Right. You know what I'm saying? So sure. at the end of the day, it's gonna happen if you stay at it. And I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, product of that. You see where I'm at right now. I, I wouldn't have been here a yeah. year ago, but right now, I'm motivated. I'm back in, uh, back in motion. We ain't stopping that. Right. Yeah. What is one thing you would, uh, you know, change about the music industry? Uh, I mean. I would add some stuff. I would, I would, I would add for the Bay Area to have a more of a, a hub of um, of how how New York got a studio hub where mm -hmm. it's like a bunch of bunch of people that's that's in the industry that can not not per se um, more like a like an infrastructure in a sense. Now I ain't gonna say infrastructure. I wanted to say, not like a development, mm. not like an artist development, but as as far as like you with peers that's actually like doing, doing a craft. Yeah, like um, my, my boy Pussy, my boy Pussy, he be talking about like comrades. Like you got people that 
maybe your age actually doing it where you yeah. can actually reach out to them rather than always having to go to like a mentor or yeah. you trying to not steal some sauce but take some sauce from the younger yeah. the younger uh, yeah. cats you feel me it's like you need some people kind of at arm's length exactly and and that's one thing that we don't have everybody got their own different places that they go to and stuff like that but it's no like main i would say independent um record label or independent um agency that's have a have a brick and mortar that's like hey all the hot artists is coming here like you know you hear stories of like i forget i don't know the name as the studios in uh, new york but uh, i guess it was like the sound room or the chocolate factory or shit like that yeah, like, i feel like I, uh, you know what i'm talking about yep yeah, and then it was uh it's like the main one that like you know Tupac would be yeah. there, Biggie would be there. Hit Factory and all Hit that. Hit Factory, yeah. yeah. So we, it, ain't, it ain't nothing like that out here. I feel like if we get something like that in the Bay Area, uh, even in the West Coast, um, people people will flock to it. I would say I would, I would add that. And um, we got we got the we got the tools for it. Mm -hmm. It's just who's going to do it. Right. That That's the question. Okay. Yeah. So what do you see yourself uh, like a year from now, bro? Um from for a year from a from year from, from now, now yeah from you, now you said last year you, you yeah. feel like you know you put the work in to get to this point so when um, you see yourself a year from now though man i just had the conversation with do we trying to get top 25 come on now um on all uh dsps okay so that's that's where i'm trying to get and that that's that's shooting high <laughs> you feel me it ain't far-fetched though bro i i know it ain't but you feel me I, like i just this re track is my biggest track right now this thing is doing and numbers. you just dropped it too right yeah yeah and and just off of that that just like hey man i just had a conversation like bro, i'm trying to go top 25 like we gotta I, man I, I i need the help yeah <laughs> like like from you got some on your hands yeah yeah and um so this this year i i see that i see more wine for me i see more merch um i got my own website flyguynetwork.com uh, you can you can go in there. You can go pick out some fly shit. I got I got a lot more coming to what coming to the site. Yeah. Um, for that, and then I just I just know that I'm gonna be a little bit more seasoned by this time next year. I feel like I haven't like I said I haven't dropped a project in two years. So this is me seeing how the industry is working right now and what's going on. That's why. I, that's the only thing I will add to it is having a hub. Cause put me around the right people, I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that just put me in, put me in a room. Yeah, I know how to mingle. I know how to be by myself. I ain't with a bunch of niggas. I ain't with. I come up by myself everywhere I go. Yeah. Um. So that that's that's where I see myself. I see myself striving to be top 25, and and being in the conversation. Cause I wasn't in the conversation until I dropped this tape, Amazing Art. And then people was like, oh, hey, this, this might be your best work right now. I'm like, eh, yeah, you're right. But yeah. wait till you see what I got. <laughs> right. That I did, Which I ain't I heard, did, yeah. yeah. What I did put out, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, For sure. Yeah. Well, you want to introduce your record, bro? Yeah, man. This is my new single right now, Re Re. You feel me? On all digital platforms. With my guy, Drew Banger. And I'm going to tell him the album. The album called Smooth. So smooth will be dropping next, uh, you feel me, year or so, top of the year. So this is Re Re off of the album called Smooth, you know. Yeah, let's, let's get into get it. it. Chick bash, slim thick like re re diamonds on my neck when it does it go. Hold my wrist up, and my shit go. Man, these bitches wanna fuck me, these niggas wanna be me. My bitch bash, slim thick like re re diamonds on my neck when it does it go. Hold my wrist up, make my shit go. Yeah, these bitches wanna fuck me, these niggas wanna be me. My bitch bad, slim, thick like Rihanna. I used to be in the club serving that Madonna. I asked her to give me his, she told me with honors. Red stripe on my shoes, bitch, you know these products. I only roll with Shada, self made millionaires. We can front you some product. Baby girl shaking ass, bet she making some dollars. I get it stacking and flipping, I feel like I'm in the kitchen. No way I'm palling the bitches. Uh, 
Tell my ex hoes I got my lick back. Uh, tell the DJ play the shit back. Uh, tell my wrist in it, I bet I make them all stare. As you take my business card, I can send her anywhere. Wipe me down, fresher than a fresh press spray. I got her bouncing that, she got her hands all on my dick. Been at it for a week, time to unwind. Throw that ass on me, baby girl, daddy it wine. My chick bad, slim, thick like Riri. Diamonds on my neck, when her dancing go. Hold my wrist up, let my shit go. And these bitches wanna fuck me, these niggas wanna be me. My bitch bad, slim, thick like Riri. Diamonds on my neck, when her dancing go. Hold my wrist up, let my shit go. Yeah, these bitches wanna fuck me, these niggas wanna be me. Slim, thick like Riri. Amazing. Woo. Amazing. Same thick like Reed. Yeah. Reed. Don't stop now, go ahead, get your wish you. We tell the after hours over there, we can get loose. Yeah, make that bag get full. Cop a bottle or two. It's the fly guy never can we all bought our issue. Uh waiter catch me out. Wait, I just might buy more. Did you read the sign yet? We just up the dance floor. I'm independent, running up, running up, running up. Bitch, shake that ass for a nigga, huh? My chick bad, slim, thick like Reed. Reed. Diamonds on my neck, when I'm dancing, go. Hold my wrist up, let my shit go. Yeah, these bitches wanna fuck me. These niggas wanna be me. My bitch bad, slim, thick like Reed. Reed. Diamonds on my neck, when the desert go. Hold my wrist up, let my shit go. Yeah, these bitches wanna fuck me. These niggas wanna be me. Pray to God with my Glock on the side. Niggas that cost me more than Jesus, but I know who gon' ride. Nigga, it's us against the world, better pick your side. Pops died, I grab my nuts, have to learn how to survive. You ain't no women till you learn how to fucking provide. I was taking trips with that work before my nine to five. I was helping niggas ball, should've put me first. And when you gave it all you got, that's when it hurt the worst. Kept feeling all my chances, I was feeling cursed. Busting moves on a Sunday, I should've went to church. If you ain't really in that field, then get off the turf. Throwing up the wrong shit, that'll get you hurt. Fuck that stuff, well, I know I should've put on the condom. Took that plan B in her drink, can't afford no problems. With many E here, rock right bottom, I told him I got him. When Big Wild starts scoring that way, I can stop him. Me and Moon, we like the Lord bottom stuff to clay. Cause when the Ben said the state, nigga just run the players. I heard you say what you gon' do to me, I ain't never phased. Mama said I'm too stubborn, I'm stuck in my ways. I gotta pop you, I'm a real nigga, I catch your fade. Miss my niggas with some shells with a just gray. Smoking on his eye, drop that perk in my lemonade. Uh, I'm high as hell. Me and Cubs, my pants, and it's still free real. See my nigga Pussy run the ticket off the scale. Ain't no timid in my heart, and none of my niggas frail. Show these niggas a game, I'm guessing they need braille. I can, I can get them things to you on the plane of your mail. That's me and Cell cutting up in that talented. Say you need a first hit, Skino, that's my manager. I fuck that bitch, then fired her like her manager. Bitch wanna fuck with the gang, then I'm passing her. New hit at first, I end up cramming her. Hold on. Let me relax. Said I was done with them beans, then I relapsed. You know I want all the smoke like I'm Captain Jack. Run up in your shit for that sack like I'm Mad Max. If it's season that cookie, that's a bad batch. See my nigga Doug in my dreams, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> Big swear shit, swear shit. Yeah, yeah, we back at it. Free Play Radio. It's your boy Skino. That was 13 Stowe with the glove flow. Make sure y'all go and stream his project. POV out now, all streaming platforms. We also at El Rio, November 16th, with Uno Cool Bro. We got Pat God, YK Dev, 13 Stowe, Trail LF, Rebel Status, you know, shout out my guy, Shy Guy Ty, man. Also, shout out Junk in the Box Hauling. If you need a haul, you know who to call. Make sure y'all follow them on Instagram and, you know, tap in. Also, shout out Dregs1. History of the Bay podcast. Make sure y'all going, you know, watch all our shit on YouTube, man. We we doing numbers. Got a lot of dope shit coming. Make sure y'all stay tuned. But we got Jalen Fly Guy in the building. Yes, sir. I gotta ask you, bro, just cause it just cause it intrigued me, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what got you into wine, though, bro? Uh, man, like I stopped drinking for a year. Mm-hmm. Like hard alcohol. Right, right, right. And uh, when I got back, started drinking, I was like. 
started like dabbling on, you know, uh, Stella Rose and yeah. stuff like that. And right. Just, I always, you know what I'm saying? I always did that. Did the Earl Stevens, did a, they dabbled with a bunch of little wineries and started doing, I started getting my mind on some more flyer shit. I started going to wineries. Gotcha. I started like, actually, and that shit like, different, bro. Man, it's different. Yeah. It's different, especially when you're spending 300 for one person. Come on, man. <laughs> it's different. And, um, Man, that that just what got me into it. Like when I'm just sitting, when I when I wanted to elevate my life, I started like, how can I how can I elevate it? Then one of my uh, friends, she was like, uh, I think you should start start looking at wine. I mean, you always drinking wine. I'm like, all right. And um, the way I actually got the kind of the relationship with Purity Wine was I performed at they. Um, New Year's Eve party last okay. year. Okay. And I talked to the um, to the owner. Uh, I think I forget his name right now. I'm kind of bad with names. Nah, you good. Shout out Purity Wine, but man. Shout out, shout out Purity Wine. I talked to the owner, and he was like, you know, like I said, put me in a room. Yeah. I, I'll make it happen, and I just made it happen. I'm like, yeah. hey, look, this is what I'm trying to do. I see what you're doing with uh, with the winery, with everybody else. And that would that would make the connection, mm. and I'm like, well, I can market to this type of crowd. You already got this type of crowd, and um, shout out to Jug Jug Mac for uh, booking me for that. And just from that moment, me and uh, me and the owners of Purity Winery, uh, I think it's a study wine bar. That's how you can find them. Uh, they they put me on there, and we we have like three different samples mm -hmm. they gave me a red they gave me so uh, you don't went through the, you went through the whole process of picking your own yeah wine. yeah, that's yeah fire. it wasn't just like hey throw your name yeah on exactly it. yeah yeah. it that's was fire. like we're going through barrels yeah and they like well you like this one you like this one you like that one i'm damn near bent already but i knew i wanted to do some um do something that was like kind of lighter that's kind of my style and um we found out when I named it Golden Grapes, mm. and it's their their wine is all organic wine. It's all natural. It's natural. It's no preserving. It. It's like no, no uh, non organic preserving. Yeah, and shit like that. Got you. And it's um, it, it's it's a real natural wine. That's the best I can describe it. I call mine Golden Grapes because you know the Golden State. Yeah. So. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. That's how that's how I got into it, man. Just having the right connection, the right people around you. And you got to, you know, pull your shot like Stephen Curry. Man. Hit that bit. Yeah, and then it's like, you know, relationships really just go a long way, though. Yeah. Like, just not necessarily like, like, sometimes, right, it's like you, you'll you meet somebody, right, and it's like they can't do nothing for you. Yeah. In that moment. Yeah. But it's just like if you're just a genuine person, you'll lock in with that person just off yeah. them being genuine. Mm -hmm. And a year from now, two years from now, y'all yeah. working together doing something that you wouldn't even imagine you feel me like yeah. and i feel like when you do uh operate like that you, you come across just genuine people exactly you feel me? and like you build genuine relationships like regardless of exactly you know the motive it's like if it was genuine it you know, was it's gonna work out it was and like you feel me um with that like how you said it takes time it took me it took about six months for me yeah. even like to like bring an idea up yes, again I'm saying. yeah <laughs> like and then i didn't get my whole everything done until august like and happily happened so that the album was dropping that time. So yeah. let's, let's let this be a part of the merch. So this was like Yeah, that's dope. It was it was like really limited. That's yeah. why I say like I sold out, I did what I did like twelve cases. Damn. Sold out. Yeah. And I didn't even get to like do oh, I was out the trunk, but I was at like you feel me my album release party, people yeah. was buying stuff. It's like direct that. to consumer, bro. Like yeah. that's that's the way of the industry, I feel like. Like yeah. the streaming, like respectfully, yeah. like yeah. the streaming is all great, but I feel like building that direct relationship with your fr with your fans bro yeah. and, and making them feel like included in t into what you're doing and actually mm -hmm. like your journey like yeah. they they it mean more bro it than do. just a casual fan streaming your it music because you streaming is really to what well, i how i understand it streaming is only uh five to eight percent of the revenue that mm -hmm. you're gonna get and you got to get your 20 percent it's off like a of, commercial yeah yeah you got to get to get that 20 or what you from whatever off your merch your product you being your um yourself then you get the rest off you from your tours your shows and the other 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 stuff like that is endorsements um doing appearances so 
streaming is really really you know, five to eight percent yeah so you got to be a people person you gotta you gotta sell yourself like we're in the industry of entertainment at mm-hmm. the end of the day you feel me we artists we entertain it people want to be entertained people want to see you turning up people want to see you um you feel me you got to show them that that they can do it too damn yeah man. that's why I, I feel like that's why it's a lot of rappers because a lot of a lot of the beginning um, you feel me, people like E40 and you know Short. They actually showed you like, look, man, I'm pulling up. Yeah, mustard and mayonnaise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like niggas really money in the industry. I ain't, I ain't out here selling like I was. Yeah, you can actually get some money and like so. Um, when you get to that, when you get to that point of you can influence a crowd of people, they're just gonna keep coming back because you a genuine person. You somebody that they they hold respect. Mm-hmm. for it. Um, that's what I'm in it for. Give me respect and loyalty. That's all I need. I yeah. find I find my way to a bag. Right. Yeah. For sure. I like to ask this. You had a dinner party. Mm-hmm. You can bring three people. Mm-hmm. So it's you and three people. Me and three who people. You, who you bringing? Uh, I'm bringing, bringing a photographer. Okay. Whoever's available. Ain't nobody um, ever even said a photographer, bro. Like, that's... That's yeah. different. I, I fuck with that though. Yeah, nah. I'm bringing a photographer, whoever is available, whoever I can afford, a real good quality. And then, um, what type? What type of dinner is it? Just, just like, just a dinner. Um, I'm a, I'm a bring, um, shit, probably one of my little brothers or something. Man, that's solid. Yeah. Okay. I really don't need nobody. Like I'm coming out with yeah. me, like photographer, from one of my little brothers, and uh, we gonna get to it for sure. Yeah. With Jalen, fly guy, man. Much success to you, bro, hey, on this journey, bro. You got any shout outs you want to give before you get out of here? Um, man, I want to shout out DEO, uh, shout out official business, shout out the free minded, shout out everybody that's a part of the um, fly guy network, everybody that's a part of the amazing art, uh, album. Man, uh, if I missed you, you on my mind, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my moms, yeah, talk about it. Can't forget moms, though. yeah, for sure. Well, it's your boy Skino. It's Free Play Radio. Shout out All In Radio, man. We got Pussy, Cold Feet featuring Nook and Less. 13 Stowe, man. Let's get it. Yeah. It's for my spur the moment niggas, man. You see that you on that type nigga, yeah. Them niggas who partners be mad cause they so grimy and like we really getting it what's, what's, like that What's I, I would throw my flag down. I'm getting it on my own. Nobody built this plan with me. Stupid. I keep a cut of bitch mad like my Mix with OJ, we ride by the coast with it. All I need is a girl, I been a bad bitch to go with it. The sun kissing, every day has been a mission. I'm glad I did it while dodging foes and bad decision. I'm Mr. Mason, and no, nope, now you say you get it. I'm a fly guy, did I mention this water expenses? By all means, we gon' live a good life. If you bring a friend, baby, tell her don't put me up on her life. Yeah, I'm from the bay, I know how this shit can go. With the right plan, we can make a whole lot more. She gon' bounce that ass and let me hit for show. Hustle mentality, I'm always on go. While here is money to be made on the road living a good life what i'm trying to do i ain't selling the dream nor lying to you like i'm trying to show the way there's no cap all facts what you trying to do you gotta stay active too attractive you gotta stay active too attractive you gotta stay you gotta stay active too attractive you gotta stay you gotta stay active too attractive